Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here. I wanted to take a moment to talk about flying a drone over water. Now, anyone that's going to fly a drone over water, they should be 100% prepared to lose it because more than likely that's what's going to happen. Uh, with that being said, there are a few uh, precautionary measures that I take prior to flying my drone over water. Number one, I make sure that I've calibrated properly on dry land in an area where there's no metallic objects, uh, electromagnetic interference, etc. So I'll make sure that it flies well on dry land. Uh, if I've significantly changed my uh, geographical flying location, I'll also re recalibrate my compass at that new location. Now, not, not on the water, obviously, but on dry land. Also, I pull out my anemometer. I want to know what the wind speed is. Uh, now, today, there are very mild bursts of wind, and they're only going up to about not even half a knot. So wind is not really a concern today for me. But see, actually it just got a gust of 1.1 knots. So again, not a lot of wind speed. But flying over the water can be fun because actually some of the best drone footage uh, that one can capture can be captured over the water. So that's why I do it. Again, risk reward. Be 100% prepared to lose your drone because that's probably what's going to happen. But if you do go out and fly and you do return without crashing, you've got some really cool footage hopefully especially if you're filming in 4K like I am. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, initiate recording within the app. I'm safe to fly GPS. I'm tracking 10 satellites right now. Hey all I Rick Sky here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.